When you're prepping your video, get your vivid share down to 54 seconds, if you can. And when you're getting your vivid share together, what you do is say a little bit on your stop clock on your phone. Stop, stay a bit stop. And you can time it that way. And if it's in around 54 seconds, that creates great workability for your editor. The video itself will be 60 seconds long. And then if you put credits, intros and outros and logos in there, the total video can't pass 75 seconds. If you have other people talking in your video, remember in close, like a head and shoulders shot. Again, in a dry space or quiet space. Direct them to keep their share short and shoot at four or five takes, if it takes that. This is known as a vox pop. For example, you could ask them in five or 10 words to explain their highlight of the experience of the game that they're involved with. Remember that this will also be included in the 54 seconds, so keep it short. Make sure if you're shooting a video yourself, that you hold the phone sideways like this video here. Don't hold it up straight. Hold it as what's known as a landscape. That way it fills the whole screen. The reason the video is 54 seconds is to leave a bit of breathing space because you have a beginning, a middle and an end. So we need a little transition between them where you might have two to four seconds of a breathing space just for music to happen and show what's going on in the video. And that way it gives the viewer a little bit of time to digest it. 